Hey girl, hey. Today we're gonna tackle this wet look. If you wanna see how I got my natural hair. Like, I was a little shook, I was a little worried. <laughs> but if you wanna see how I got my natural hair in the wet look, then just keep on watching. So I first start off, my hair is already co-washed. I use the uh, As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. And then I used the Mayel Organics Leave-In Conditioner all over my hair. So now I'm sectioning my hair, parting it, and wetting it. The objective is to keep your hair wet, as wet as possible, and to get the uh, gel to hold your hair down, basically. So I'm using Eco Style Gel with olive oil, the goat, and I'm just running the gel through my hair getting my hair really coated coated really really good with that gel and to make sure that your roots are really 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 gelled down because that's just gonna make the hair stay in place so I'm just really making sure to get a lot of gel taking my dimming brush making sure that my curls are really detangled really good and that's how it looks I think Okay, we get it somewhere. Okay, so here I am once again detangling it. Okay, so here were my worries. Cause I was kind of 50-50. I didn't know if my hair was actually gonna do this hairstyle. I was scared that one, my hair would not stay like in place. And I thought that when it dried, it was going to dry up to be a big poof ball. So that was my worries because that's how my hair is like naturally. When it's wet and when it has water on it, it's very curly and pretty. But once it's dry, like, oh, that's it. That's it. So I'm basically doing the same thing over and over again. Just sectioning my hair wetting it with a spray bottle, detangling it, putting the Eco Styling Gel in it all through my hair, making sure I get every strand of hair and going over my roots to make sure that they are really gelled down really, really good. And then I go in over top and put mousse on top just to lock it in. So that's just the same thing. It's the same process over and over again really making sure that your curls are really detangled out and my hair looks so it looks so pretty but like i told y'all my worries was is my hair gonna dry like this <laughs> like is it gonna stay like this was my worries because i already knew that my hair could get really curly just because like from past hairstyles and just you know from when it gets wet and when i've used a lot of gel on my hair but i was just worried is my hair gonna stay like this is my shrinkage going to just make it look ugly <laughs> like because i don't know so but yeah i'm making sure to separate my curls just to make sure that my curls are really defined because we want the raymond noodles look sis like i'm trying to look like a package of raymond noodles chicken chicken raymond noodles what's your favorite flavor but period okay so i'm just really going through and trying to you know twist my curls to make sure that they're really defined really getting at my roots and that's how it looks from the back and it was going pretty great i was actually pretty shocked so i'm like okay it's going good <laughs> but i didn't want to get like too crunk because it's like like i said it's not dry yet how is this about to dry like is it gonna be cute is the final product gonna be cute but i just kept going
Because, like I said, I didn't want my shrinkage to, I didn't want it to shrink so bad. So, I wanted my curls to be as stretched as possible. So, I put the hairpins, like, every, like, few strands, like, every few parts, I would put the hairpins and, like, stretch my curls out and put the hairpins just to get my curls to be as stretched as possible because I didn't want it to, the shrinkage to be too bad. And then I also blow dried it a little bit along the way just to help with the drying process to speed it up a little bit. And really just following that steps. I don't know if the hairpins really made a difference with the shrinkage. I don't know if I don't put the hairpins in there if my hair would still turn out the same. But I mean, I believe it worked. It, it seems like it worked because my shrinkage it of course it wasn't as long you know as it as it could have been but it wasn't bad it wasn't to where i was like ew you know <laughs> so just really making sure my roots are really laid down because as y'all can see like look at the different textures from the top of my head to the back of my head i didn't want it to dry like the top of my head but going back and separating my curls. And I didn't separate each curl. This is just like how my hair looks. But I didn't separate every part. It was just like when I saw some, you know, some curls that weren't as defined, I would go in and like separate. And I did separate the ones at the back because, you know, I got two type of textures in my hair. Two hair, two curl types, two curl patterns in my hair. The back of my hair is really kinky curly, super kinky curly, and the, the front of my hair is like how I want all of my hair to be. But yeah, ooh, uh, it's the curls for me. Uh, my hair looks so good, I was so impressed. And how it coils at the end now, I'm super, like, I'm, I'm, I'm lit, like, that my hair is like this now. This is the difference between just the water and then with the product. But a few years ago, we couldn't even comb through my hair. Like that's how damaged and my hair has always been thick. I've always had long hair, but, and I used to have relaxed hair before I went natural in high school. And that was in like 2000, Probably like 2010, 2011, when I went natural in high school. So that was a long.
long time ago. My hair was super damaged, super broke off, and just from a lot of color. And then I stopped getting perms because I wanted because I wanted to start coloring my hair. Then I started coloring my hair. Damaged it, broke it all off. I couldn't even like get through it. So to see my hair like this now, when I couldn't even comb through it before, is like wow. Like we done came a long way. So protecting your hair, training your hair, it really does pay off. Your hair can get like this too. Cause a lot of people be, t be telling me like my hair is natural hair goes. And I'm like, really? Me? But I've always kept my hair like up in braids, always wore wigs. Now I'm just now starting to like really get into like natural hairstyles and like trying to try like you know, flex your eyes, twist out, and really go hunting for good natural hair products that will help my hair get the curl pattern and really just cooperate and just curl up how I want it to. But that's how it looks. Really Raymond noodly. It's looking real noodly. <laughs> like I, I, I was impressed with my hair, but. It's really the same process. Just keep putting more gel. Make sure that it's really, really laid down. Get your roots. Cause look at my roots, baby. Nappy roots. If nappy roots was a person, boom. Here you go. Don't come for me though. But yeah. Water, detangle. Make sure your hair is really detangled. Gel. All the gel in the tube every ounce of it i'm just playing <laughs> but as much gel as you need to do not be stingy with the gel be very very generous with the gel because you want to make sure that your hair slicks and that it stays in place and that it's really coated with the gel and that you get you let your hair reach its full potential it's maximum potential really separating those curls that really need to be separated this uh, front part of my hair is a little heat damage. That's why the curls was looking a little. Sh That's why it's looking a little crazy. But it's okay. And like I told you guys, I already put leave-in conditioner on my hair before, like right after I did the coconut co wash. If you want to see more natural hair styles from me then make sure you subscribe i'm trying to get to 100 subscribers so tell everyone you know to subscribe it's a thunderstorm right now so if y'all hear that thunder i don't know but yes if you want to see more natural hair tutorials definitely subscribe and watch another video because i have plenty of natural hair tutorials and makeup tutorials and other DIYs that is on my channel. So you should subscribe. It's a fun time. And this is the progress as we keep going. Really putting a whole lot of gel. Ooh.
Now on to a very important part of this video, the baby hairs. I take a brush and my edge booster in the pineapple scent and I'm going to do these crazy baby hairs. Honestly, I really don't have like a specific technique. I just be doing stuff to get the little swirl going. So I'm just gonna let y'all watch me. Baby hairs honestly take me so long and yeah literally use the comb my best advice for these like swirly crazy baby hairs will be to get a brush like this and use the comb the comb is really gonna help you at first i used to be like the comb does not work like i used to i still use the brush with my baby hairs but as far as like this type of baby hair i think the comb really made it look good and it really helped me and uh, use your hands use different parts of the comb and really work use product to make the baby hair stick and have some patience and <laughs> just keep going but yeah baby hairs I take forever I am gonna do a baby hair tutorial like a full in-depth tutorial on how I do my baby hairs. That's why I don't really want to go too much into it. That would honestly be next week's video, a baby hair tutorial. So be on the lookout for that. I'm just showing you guys these little crazy baby hairs that I did for entertainment. But it will be a full on baby hair video coming next. So subscribe once again. <laughs> subscribe and Make sure you do not miss out on any of my videos. Now this is the final product. Wow. It's the baby hairs for me. Like just on swim. Baby hairs is on swim. 10 out of 10. Period. And that's on what? That's on period. Okay? The baby hairs is just they're they're lit. They're fire. And um, oh, you know I gotta tie them up. You know you're going to have to tie your hair down, sis. So, go ahead and tie it up. I tied my hair down. It was probably for like an hour and a half or so. This was like late at night. <laughs> so, yeah. I tied it up. Oh, look at that part. Everything just looks so good. And I'm taking the Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Spray um, from Shea Moisture. And it's just going to protect my hair from getting like frizzy and make it shine and look how pretty it looks it's still wet of course but I'm gonna show you guys this is like the end like how it looks at the end of the night after like an hour or so still wet super curly super pretty I love 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 my curls And this is how my hair was the next day. Yes, I had slept on it, refreshed my baby hairs, and my hair here is probably like 98% dry. And I love the curls, love how it came out. Let me know how you guys like it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And if you tried this, let me see the pictures. Tag me, Lemonade Jade, on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Like, comment, share, subscribe for more videos. Watch some more natural hair tutorials. Watch the makeup tutorials. This makeup tutorial is on my channel. So go watch that next. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.